I was busy with developing a sawtooth generator. It was inspired by this book from 1954. And this is the circuit to uh, generate a sawtooth. This resistor charges the capacitor and on a certain moment the capacitor is shortcut and that generates the typical waveform of a, a sawtooth generator. These are some formulas. And when the capacitor is charged, this is the way the voltage is built up. And you can see that it is not linear. It's not a straight line. And the reason is that when the um, um, capacitor is charged, at the end the difference between the uh, power supply voltage and the voltage parallel the, to the capacitor gets smaller. So 10% distortion is normally, says this book. Uh, I built this circuit and um, accidentally I reversed the transistor, the NPN transistor. And that was a very lucky um, circuit because it generated a very pure square wave. I assume here we have uh, already the same circuit, the resistor that charges the capacitor. And I assume that on a certain moment the barrier voltage in this uh, transistor is too high and it shortcuts suddenly the capacitor and that means that we have the square wave sorry we have a sawtooth wave and that's uh, what we need to make a sawtooth wave we have to charge a capacitor and um, uh, shortcut it immediately to get this waveform here you see the circuit in real I put on the audio now I hope you can hear it um, that's not possible at this moment but then we go to the oscilloscope this is the waveform that's what that, that is uh, generated at this moment by the uh, circuit with only uh, three components so very lucky and it's 53 kilohertz now here you see the frequencies that can be generated it goes from 2 hertz up to 56 kilohertz and it depends completely on the value of C1 and also on the um, voltage, the power supply voltage. It's now 12 volt, you can take a little bit more. But with a capacitor from 50 micro, 15 microfarad up to 220 nanofarad, you can generate frequencies between 2 Hz and 4.2 kHz. With a capacitor from 100 nanofarad, the frequency goes from 150 Hz up to 8.8 .8 kHz. 50 nanofarad, uh, 274 Hz up to 15 kHz. And 10 nanofarad, 1.1 kHz to 56 kHz. Try to put on the audio signal now. I uh, hope it will be successful. Um, this is 2.1 kilohertz. And this is the waveform. You can see it's a more or less perfect uh, sawtooth.
I don't know why the audio. Okay. Here's the audio. I now change the pot potentiometer value. You can see that on all these different frequencies, the sawtooth is very pure. It stays with 10% um, distortion. So it's a very usable circuit to uh, generate sounds or make a time-based generator for, for instance, an oscilloscope. 